Hi guys and welcome to Hong Kong. So I am actually here just for a few days exploring. Uh, it's a city I've always wanted to visit, so really excited to be here and also staying in the craziest hotel room. Um, but this video today is covering this photo I took in Barbados and a lot of people have reached out of how I edited this and how I kept the color of the turtle, uh, the crispness and just about balanced the whole photo right. So it's this photo I'm talking about. So today I'm gonna to be going over um, my editing technique and talking about all the different tools I use. So let's get into it. I am currently set up over, over there. But damn, check out this roof. It's my bedroom. This is, this is my mess. This is uh, more of my mess. Mess. Bathroom, probably the world's biggest shower. Check out this view as well. So over there is the Bank of China. It's actually a really murky day. So let's get started. So I use a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which I love. It's just super lightweight, easy to use, and also very powerful, um, as well as two lacy drives to back up each other. So my process uh, is mostly Lightroom, as well as some Photoshop to get rid of a few people swimming above. And so this photo I took in Barbados, and it was one of my favorite photos just because it took a lot of effort. I dived down really deep. I wasn't diving, I was snorkeling. Um, so dive down with the Aquatech massive underwater housing, pushed it all the way down and got right to the bottom. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously do the lens correction. This can really affect the overall exposure of the image if you do it last. Uh, I'm gonna quickly just crop it there. That should work nicely. And then I'm gonna get straight into all the basic tools. Um, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is do the white balance and tint. This can have a huge overall effect of the tone and the, um, the overall feel of the image. I'm just gonna move the temperature up just about there, I think. And then I'm gonna push the tint up and you can see what such a difference it makes to the overall feel of the image. And then just move up the temperature. Just, yeah, I think that'll work. We can always adjust it later. I'm then going to move into the exposure and contrast, just up the exposure a little bit. Uh, I think that'll be okay. And then I'm going to use the contrast. Most of the contrast I use is between the whites and the blacks and also the tonal curve. Um, I think that should be, that should work. As you can see, the tint of the image has kind of gone a little, a little bit, but we're going to bring this back as well in different colors, HSL and color calibration. I'm then going to use the shadows just a little bit and make the clarity just a bit lower. We can, we're gonna bring this back in and we're gonna dehaze a bit just because that day was so much silt um, underwater and it just really, really made it really dense. I'm then gonna make it quite vibrant and desaturate a little just so the colors aren't so crunched. So that's a good starting point there, uh, but there's so much more to do, and especially the colors of the turtle, we really need to bring that in. Uh, but the next thing is just to adjust the tonal curve, just to bring a bit of contrast in. Uh, I'm just gonna do here is kind of like, just like a basic um, S curve. I'm not gonna do anything crazy, uh, just to add a little contrast uh, between the colors and the tones. That's all done there, I think, but we can always come back to it. So next up is the HSLs. These are really, really powerful. I absolutely love using them. Um, I stupidly did this uh, the wrong way around. I was meant to brush in first um, the white balance difference and then change the red, oranges, and yellows. However, uh, you'll see the effect of this later. So I'm just adjusting the, uh, the yellows and then I'm gonna add uh, saturation, but obviously this will come into play later on. I just totally did this the wrong way around. Uh, there we go. This will be right. Yep. Yep. And next up, we're going to get rid of the greens and you can already see the effect on the shell, which is really, really working well. Uh, I'm also going to tone down the aqua and the blues just because they're so, so intense. Uh, that should work nicely. And you can see the huge difference it's already made uh, on the tones of the turtle and the water. So next up, I'm going to go to luminance uh, just to make some really, really small adjustments here uh, in the oranges, which I promise will come into play later, and the blues uh, just to brighten them up and the aquas as well, just to make them less. And you can see a huge effect. All of that is done, which is great. Uh, so next up is the detail sharpening. Um, I usually put it to around 50 to 60 and then I mask it about the same uh, just 
Yeah, that should work around there, I think. Yeah, just leave that for now. And then next up is the color calibration. I believe quite a lot of people go a bit too far with this, but I think if you use it well, it's a really, really nice way to enhance your photo. So first of all, I'm gonna adjust the blue primary uh, just to get those blues how I really like them. You guys can play around with how you want them um, and just up the saturation. Not too much, but a decent amount to really, really bring out those colors. And then, yeah, I think that works well. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna adjust in the color calibration. So next up is brushing back in some of the tints. I'm gonna do this really fast, and as you can tell, I've sped this up a heck of a lot, uh, just because this took so long. Um, so basically what you guys need to do is get a brush and create the tint and temperature um, to what you like. And I'm just going really, really fast around all the different edges. Um, you know, and this brings in the uh, oranges and reds uh, and yellows I was talking about earlier. Um, you know, this really brings in the different colors. Um, I might have gone a bit hard on the purples, but you know, this is all about adjusting. Um, so I'm just gonna go around really fast and then I can bring in different uh, brushes where I take away some of the purple um, or I just clean up around the edges. So I'm just gonna fast forward completely now and you know, you guys get the idea, just keep going uh, around the edges, getting the tones you like, every single bit of the turtle or whatever you're editing is different. Um, so honestly, just take your time. I think I, you know, rushed this a little bit, even though I've fast forwarded this all. Um, but honestly, it's just such a great way to add in these tones. Um, also, I added a lot of clarity in, so I brushed, uh, you know, clarity into the different areas. Uh, this just really, really helps get some contrast and it really brings out the turtle's details. Um, again, you know, here is just me adjusting all the different tones, um, you know, taking bits out which went over the edge and just getting it absolutely spot on. I'm really happy with the detail I got. I wish I spent a little bit more time on this, um, just refining the details, but overall you can see how it really enhanced it. So next up, I'm gonna add some quick gradient filters um, just because I think it could do with a bit more light from above. Um, don't worry, we're gonna edit those people out next, but I think just a bit of more light from above and a bit more contrast. Uh, just bring the blacks down and yeah, I think. And then I'm gonna bring one from the bottom just because I think it's a little bit overexposed. And I think that works pretty well. Uh, it's just small, small adjustments. So before I put it into Photoshop, I'm just gonna adjust some of the basic uh, things. So a bit of contrast, I'm just gonna add a bit, you know, go back through, you guys made the total decision on what you feel is right uh, with the image. But here I just wanted to adjust a bit more contrast into the image and, you know, bring up the blues in the HSLs. Um, so that's really, really simple and straightforward. Um, but, you know, just go through and adjust how you guys feel, you guys feel is exactly right. Um, so yeah. Uh, I think it's a really good idea to you know go back and compare to what you shot before and look at that. It's just such a huge difference apart from those annoying people. So we're gonna go into Photoshop, uh, chuck it into Photoshop and just quickly you know get rid of these people. Um, so the first tool I like to use is here on the top left. It's called the Polynose Lasso tool. Uh, I can't pronounce that, but it's super easy to use. So you just click around uh, the object you wanna get rid of. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite show that. You click around the object you want to get rid of, uh, select content to wear, um, and then enter, and then deselect, and you know, you can go around. It works really, really well. Sometimes it leaves kind of like a mark around where uh, the line was drawn. Um, so you can use, you know, the stamp tool, which I'm going to use in a second um, to, you know, just soften those edges. But overall, you know, get rid of what you need to. Um, you know, these people, it's not going to be ideal because I think it's just going to leave uh, a mark. So I'm going to go into the um, clone stamp tool. I usually put the hardness at zero just so it's really, really soft um, and doesn't leave a mark. And then you've got to pick a tone which works for you. So you press option uh, on a Mac anyway and just go around and adjust it. Uh, I'm just gonna speed through this quickly, but make sure you get the tones right. In some places you can see there, I didn't quite get the tones right, so I went back and got the right, uh, you know, depth of water or whatever to make sure these are absolutely spot on. Uh, there we go, get this last guy's flipper out. Uh, and easy, really simple. Uh, overall, you know, super, super happy with this, how this image turned out. Uh, could have spent a lot more time on the shell just adjusting it, uh, but wanted to show you guys overall how you can, get, you can bring out the colors. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope everything was kind of helpful. You guys learned some new tips and new tricks. 
Um, so be sure to subscribe if you want to and check out my Instagram for more photos from around the world.